Welcome back to my channel. Spend the day with me and my two-year-old son as we go through our Sunday reset routine to get us all set and ready for the week ahead. Today's video will include a grocery haul, restocking of the fridge and pantry, banana bread, my two-year-old son's lunch for some toddler lunch ideas, and cleaning out the pantry. It was in a desperate need of a good cleaning and reorganizing. I hope this video gives you lots of homemaking motivation and you leave here feeling like you were hanging out with a friend. So to start off for today, Luca and I are going to go do the grocery shopping. We're gonna go to Walmart, pick up a few things, and then to our local grocery store. And hopefully it will go smoothly. Luca is usually a very good shopper. He likes to put everything in the cart. We have our list, so we're ready to go and know exactly what we need to get. Our meal plan is all ready for the week as well. Dad has a couple things that he needs to do this weekend, so he won't be able to do the grocery shopping for us which he usually, he prefers to do the grocery shopping. He thinks he gets better things than I do, which is totally fine because it's not something that I enjoy doing. But today we are going, we're gonna have ourselves a little adventure to the store, right Luca? Yeah. <laughs> so wish us luck and we will show you our grocery haul and all of the things to get us going for the week. probably before this, you had already seen it, um, how I put them in the cart, I just load everything in. Our grocery store does have like a scanner thing that I didn't even think of until I was like basically done and saw another lady with it. That would have been a lot easier because then I wouldn't have had to take everything out like at the register. I would have just scanned the self checkout. I don't know if your grocery store has that, but it is a really nice feature that our grocery store does have. Um, but I did end up doing it that this time. I'll have to remember for next time. But at the grocery store, I fit everything in here, so I will unload this and show you everything that I got. And then we went to Walmart, and I have like just two Walmart bags of things that I need to get there. So let's unload all of this, and then I will show you everything that we got. Here is a quick haul. We, I don't know why this is. I got a package of chicken breasts. I will individually baggy all of these and put them in the freezer. We're just a family of three, so we really only need one chicken breast for dinner. My son is really not interested in eating meat, so it's only my husband and I that eat chicken, so it works out for us. I basically have to do this once a month. If even that, I think it's been over a month since the last time I put all of the chicken in the freezer. We also got this Jimmy Bean sausage. We are going to make calzones this week with this. I have a pizza crust already in the freezer, so we just needed this. And then also mozzarella cheese, and we do have pizza sauce already, so that'll be a super easy dinner. Um, chicken this week, we are gonna do chicken, rice, and vegetable bowls using the pepper, zucchini, and summer squash sweet potato and avocado. It'll be so good. And then we are also having tacos this week. I didn't need anything for tacos. I have everything already for the tacos. I have been super into hummus. I just like plain hummus with either crackers, cucumbers on sandwiches. It is so good. I'm like obsessed right now. We got a bag of 
these little apples that my son has been enjoying, strawberries, grapes, bananas. And then I got a few options of kombucha. This is a fermented tea, comes in a bunch of different flavors. There's a ton of different brands. This is just the brand that we like. So I got tropical pineapple for my husband to try. I like this bu bubbly rose flavor. And then I also really like this pink lady apple one. This one I'm actually going to take to my grandparents. My grandfather has been having some stomach issues and a little bit of inflammation. So I want to see if he can try that and if that will help him to feel a little bit better. We do have a family vacation coming up. So hopefully he can start feeling better so that he can enjoy the vacation with all of us. This is just a big bag of mozzarella cheese. I got this Dave's bread. This time I got the white bread done right and they only have the thin slices. They didn't have very many options of breads left. I got my son some chicken nuggets. We aren't gluten free, but we just really like this gluten free one. It's just really good and it cooks so well in our air fryer. I got some mozzarella sticks for my son to have for lunch today. And then I got these little treat bars. I got this chocolate fudge one and mint chocolate chip and that is everything that i got from the grocery store then from walmart i needed to just restock on our granola bars my son loves these cinnamon almond butter bars we got these ones these cinnamon brown sugar ones last time and we really liked them they were like oatmeal cookies so those two and then i'm trying to try figure out some healthier options. These are like not the best. The ingredients are not that great. So I figured I'd pick up these ones. They have some better ingredients. They got the strawberry flavor. They come in a 10 pack. So that's really nice as well. So hopefully my son will really like these. And then I got him like a treat one, a little brownie. He absolutely loves chocolate. And my husband has chocolate protein bars that he is just constantly wanting that aren't really the greatest for him. So I thought maybe these would be a better option. I picked up sour cream that we need for the tacos. I got that at Walmart since we were already there. And then I got this chocolate Chex cereal. My son is not too much into cereal, but I figured sometimes it's nice just to have like a grab and go type of thing. And I can make little treat baggies with like these and some M&Ms, um, put some nuts and things in it for him. And then I just needed to restock on deodorant. So that's all I got for my grocery haul. I will put this away with all of you. And then I also just wanted to show you this little centerpiece that I put together. Sorry, there's some things on the counter, tools and stuff and coloring stuff, but how cute. We have this little, it's really like a craft that you put like coffee in, but I cut some of our hydrangeas and put it in and just stuck it in this basket that I always have here. And I think it is so pretty. I take anything that is like singly packaged out of boxes. I find it is just so much easier to store and the items get consumed better when they are out of the boxes, just ready to grab and go. So any treat bars, popsicles, I lay like that. And there's a bunch of bars and things in my pantry that I set up like that as well. Do you do that too? Leave a comment down below. I would love to know.
always leave the cereal in this plastic part in these cereal containers. I know typically you see people dump them out of this plastic into the cereal containers, but the ones we have, if I do that, the cereal ends up going stale really quickly. They're not airtight. So eventually I'll have to get some that are airtight so then I can just dump them in and then we can actually use the top lid and just pour it out. Right now we just take the top lid off and take the whole plastic out like this and just kind of pour it into bowls when we need it. But that'll be an option for the future and this works out totally fine for now. love baskets. I think they are so pretty and have so many uses throughout the house. I love using them in the pantry for bars. I think they display so well and when somebody opens the pantry it's just a pretty little touch to have the bars stored in a basket. I have two baskets currently that are in my pantry and a bunch of other different storage that you'll see a little bit later on in the video when I clean out the pantry. What is your favorite type of storage for the pantry? Leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for great options and ways of organizing the pantry. Here is my son's lunch for today. He had a mozzarella stick that he's pretty much done with. I did make him a second if he wants it, but he doesn't seem to. So I will probably just eat that one. Some blueberries, which hopefully he'll get to. Sometimes he likes them, other times he kind of just leaves them. I did some cucumbers that I did take the skin off of. And then hummus, he absolutely loves hummus. And him and I are the only ones that eat it. So we kind of just eat it right out of the container. He wanted crackers with his hummus, so he's gonna eat some of those. And he only drinks water, he can't drink milk, he gets kind of sick from milk. Um, so that is what he had for lunch today. Luca is down for a nap, so I decided to quickly whip up the banana bread. I had three overly ripe bananas that were just waiting and begging to be made into a banana bread. And when I say begging, I mean my husband. He absolutely loves it when there's banana bread. It's just such like an easy breakfast for him and my son really likes it too. So since I had it, the ingredients I literally always have on hand, so it's just such an easy thing. I didn't add zucchini to this one, um, but a lot of times I do like to do that to boost my son's vegetable intake. I do have another video that includes that. I think it was in a Sunday reset where I did like a whole bunch of different recipes to help your toddlers increase vegetables. If you're interested in that, go check out that video. It was a couple weeks back. Um, I just made the batter. I always add chocolate chips. We like chocolate chips a lot in this house. Um, I'm going to just pour it into the pan, get it in the oven, and while this bakes, I'm going to clean out the pantry. It is such a disaster, and I'll take you along with me while I do that since my son is down for a nap. A 
I'll leave the recipe that I use for this banana bread in the description box down below. My husband said, this is the winner. Do not change it. Don't pick another recipe. This is the one to follow and use every single time that I make banana bread. It is absolutely delicious and so easy. Very minimal ingredients and everything I always have on hand. So I can make it anytime we have overly ripe bananas. I am going to next time try to add the zucchini and hopefully it will be fine. I do like the recipe I used last time too because it adds olive oil instead of butter. So that's like a healthier option. But this one is really delicious. Here is the current state of my pantry. It's driving me crazy. Every shelf is just kind of thrown together. There's a bunch of stuff in here that just needs to go. It's old or just hasn't been eaten and I just keep leaving it in here. These bins need to be organized. This is dog food. I don't even know why that's there like that. I'm gonna figure out a better situation, especially for all of this. Um, this bin we just restocked today, so that one perfectly fine, as well as this one we just restocked today. Um, we are definitely working down these snacks, so that's good. This bin, this jerky has been living in here forever. If you've been around for a long time, my very first pantry video has that in that too. So I think today's the day that it's going to be ditched. This is like coconut bobos. We just don't like them. So I'm most likely going to try to give them away. See if somebody else like in my family likes them. And that bin definitely needs to be gone through. Up here needs to be straightened out. I don't even know what's in this one. And I'm not sure. I think this cereal is probably bad. I'm not sure about the Fruit Loops. We'll see. And double check the canned goods to see what dates are on them. And then these two bins here as well. So it shouldn't take me too long. So let's just get right into it and get this pantry in much better shape. This bin I call my baking bin. I leave any extra baking supplies in this bin and also my brown sugar lives here. I know some people put it in their fridge, but I just leave it here in the pantry. Um, confectioner's sugar, coconut flakes, extra chocolate chips. Once I open that bag of flour that is currently on the shelf and empty some of it into my flour container, I'll put the rest of it in here. Then I can just grab all of my baking supplies out all at once and they just store so much better in this bin. I'm right now just checking expiration dates, making every making sure everything is still good. I was kind of surprised to see some of these dates were actually outdated and they were kind of like the beginning of July too. So they had just gone bad recently. So if you have not in a while, make sure to go through your pantry and check all those expiration dates. They kind of sneak up on you sometimes. Mm -hmm. What are you doing this week to get yourself all set and ready for the week ahead? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to know how you're getting yourself all ready for a successful week.
store all of our extra plastic like baggies. Um, there's extra parchment paper, tin foil, that kind of stuff in this bin here. We have a drawer which is right next to the refrigerator that holds the things that we use every day. So there's like the big storage bin, plastic bags, the sandwich plastic bags, there's a roll of parchment paper, um, tin foil, all of that kind of stuff that we use pretty much on a daily basis. And then we always have an extra here in this bin because you go through that stuff pretty quickly. So it's just nice to have a second one and this bin just stores them really well. So I'm taking trash bags out of this box so then it stores even nicer and then we know exactly what we have and if we need to add anything to have a second one on hand to the next grocery store list. This second bin, we hold all of our chips um, and I think there are some rice cakes in here too that are like in a big package all together they just store it nice and easily here i'm just going through seeing what is in here as everything's like just piled up and there are a lot of bags that were like at the end so they were just all crumbs and just needed to be tossed I'm quickly going to vacuum and also mop in here. I can't remember the last time I mopped in here, so I'm just gonna take care of that today. Here is an overview of the reorganized pantry. It looks pretty similar when you're just glancing at it, but there's minor little details that make a huge difference in day to day, getting breakfast, snacks, any other meals ready, having all of this stored and organized, and my systems that I have set up make my life so much easier. The banana bread timer went off a little after I finished reorganizing the pantry. It is so delicious and looked so pretty when it came out. Using parchment paper instead of buttering the pan has been so much easier. It makes taking the banana bread out of the pan so effortless, comes out smooth every single time, and then I can just put it right on this plate and cut right into it for us to enjoy. <music> 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching my video. I appreciate it more than I can tell you. I hope you got lots of homemaking motivation. You leave here feeling like you've made a new friend. If you have not yet, please subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Have a great week.